All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Chakorash. Double honors of the apostles as a great millstone. And the Shatish brothers doing this thing in sincerity and truth and with charity. Firstly, Yahweh's name, the Heavenly Father. Bahasham is in the name. Ba'in, Hadha, Sham, name. <clears throat> Yahweh Shai's name will be God's son. And Racha, Korash means Holy Spirit. Literally translated, Spirit Holy. Racha, Spirit Korash Holy. And go to hop right into it, man. You know, was on TikTok scrolling, looking at, you know, just random stuff. And then this, cr this creature, this dog, you know, let's keep it real. Like I said, it's a rock, you know, because she is a dog, according to the scriptures. So uh, this B word, keep it a little PC. No, nah, it's JK. This bitch. <laughs> all right. You know, uh, it's on TikTok doing what they all fucking do. Just. Shaking her titties and shit, being ridiculous. And that was a guy. Well, this is the My original. Guy, he, doing he said, I feel bad for your father. And she's on there. I don't know what you mean by that. You know, as long as I'm as making money, he's cool. He doing, he do. Walk the bam. She actually didn't understand what he meant. And it's like, that's crazy. So, you know, I just say he means the way you're not respecting yourself is it shames your father. I'll feel the. Didn't say anything bogus, disrespectful. And she made this video clip talking about. Sh I, I, I'm gonna I'm play it, man. Realize I am 20 years old. I don't give a fuck. If I wanna shake these titties, I'm gonna shake these titties, bro. My father understand that because I'm young and free. I do whatever the fuck I want to do. I'm not old. I'm not 30. When I'm 30 years old, yeah, then it's time to reshape life and shit. But as long as you're young, you do what the fuck you want to do. Anybody watching this video, do what the fuck you want to do as long as you was young. Do it. Do it all, bro. Do it all, my nigga. All. Don't listen to people like this. Like, you make no sense. And my, my father probably getting more money than you. You shitting me? And I'm West Indian. We are freaks, bro. Suck my dick. No cap. Hey, y'all. Open y'all Bibles because we about to read the scripture that this young, fat-ass nigga wanted me to read or whatever, right? So, basically... You are young, be happy, blah, blah, blah. Join your days of your youth, follow the ways, ah, ah, ah. But know that these are things God will bring judgment into you. Duh. People going to judge you good or bad. Like, I, I don't understand what you're getting at. I don't care. We are all sinners. We are all sinners. You could do good and still get judged. You Are you stupid? Bad will always override the good because you don't even know the good things I do. You just know that I like to shake my titties on the internet. Because what? Body positivity. So, thank you for that scripture. I feel blessed. Uh, I feel so blessed. And I hope there's a scripture in there for you about minding your fucking goddamn motherfucking business. Suck my dick. Hey, Right. No fear to the Lord, as you've seen in both videos. In fact, on one of the comments, I forgot to go to it. She actually said, she either said after scriptures, so I don't give a F about the scriptures. But nevertheless, you see this this creature. You know, this is uh, Ecclesiastes, no, tripping Job, 37 and 9. 37 No. Thirty nine seventeen. Because the most I have deprived her of wisdom, neither have he imparted to her understanding. All right. This this is the mindset of a one you know a woman, and actually this is the mindset of the world right now. You know, YOLO. You only live once. She says, "Oh, enjoy your youth," and then when you thirty, change. You know, then. Settle down, you know, for for anybody that doesn't make sense, you know, the decisions you make today affect you tomorrow. All right. The, the, the decisions you make today affect you tomorrow. I wish that was a lesson I had been taught when I myself w was younger. It's just true. The decisions you make today will affect you tomorrow. 
All right? And that's just even carnally speaking as far as shit you got to deal with just naturally in this world, right? Now, spiritually speaking, hey, man, you, 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 you reap what you sow. The Lord is about to enter into judgment with this place. This is not the time to, hey, this is an act. This is Acts 1730. And the times of this ignorance, the most high winked at, but now commanded all men everywhere to repent. All right, the Lord is about to bring judgment. The Lord is about to bring judgment. Hold on. Um This is uh, Sirach 1827. A wise man will fear at everything, and, a day, in, and in the day of sinning, he will be aware of offense, but a fool will not observe time. So that's, that's a foolish thing to not consider, especially what time we're in. We see what's happening in the world. We have to uh, consider and observe what's going on, man. And clearly, judgment is coming to this place. So we can't. Just move, hey, just off the fear alone, man. We can't just move willy nilly like we, we can do as we want what we want to do. We shouldn't do that anyway. But especially now, we know judgment is knocking on the door. All right, a fool won't observe time. A fool won't consider what's happening around them. The Lord is marking these offenses right now, man. He's been winking. He's got his his hand out. He's got mercies going forth. And people uh, uh, in a whole in a whole other world not caring, man, like that. Just don't no care for the scripture. Didn't even read the whole verse or the next verse. Didn't then try to broke it down all wrong, man. You gotta pay for that. Where's the fear of the Lord at in that? Scoffing, talking shit. You hey, every idle word, man. Every idle word. Hey, people are going to... This is uh, 2 Corinthians. And the amount of simp... And the amount of simping in the comments is crazy, too. It's like, God damn, you, these fucking niggas, man. But look, one thing's for certain, they all have been warned. 2 Corinthians 5 and 10. For we must all appear, 2 Corinthians 5 and 10, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Mashiach. We avoid that C word because that's an idol. All right, goes back to the rapids, Christus. All right. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Mashiach, which that's the Hebrew word for Messiah. Well, that's where the word Messiah comes from. It's the Hebrew word for anointed, and the Messiah means anointed. All right, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he have done, whether it be good or bad. All right, the decisions you make today affect you tomorrow. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord persuade men. But we are made manifest unto the Most High, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciences. So, look, we're here to tell you what's coming, man. Great judgment is coming. And that's the point of Ecclesiastes 11, man. That spirit of live your life, do this, enjoy that, have fun. And that's bullshit, man. We're going to hey, look now. The earth was made to be a paradise, to be pleasure. That's why the whole earth was called Eden. There was a garden east in Eden, but the whole planet is called Eden. But right now ain't the time for that. All right. We we've been brought low because the, the sin of Eve and uh, and the trans, you know, which passed on to Adam and then passed down to us. You know, we've been brought low. So now we we working to hasten to get out of this place. We, we hasten to escape this captivity, man. This is not our rest. This is Micah 2 and 10. Arise. Come on. 
Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest because it is polluted. This shit is, and this place is truly polluted, man. Everything they teach out here is contrary. Everything they promote, everything that's esteemed in this world is contrary to the ways of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Contrary to righteousness, man. Even that YOLO mentality. All right? Do what you want when you're young. All right? That's contrary to the, the way of the Israelite lifestyle. Remember, we in the hands of our enemies. We still in American captivity, man. It shall destroy you even with the sword destruction. All right? This place is meant to, to kill you, man. This ain't right. All right? This shit ain't right. You know? Everything about this place has been built to throw us off, man. This is Daniel 7, 25. And he shall speak. And he was the he. This last kingdom we in, okay? All right, Rome 2.0. Rome and Rome 2.0. Rome's already passed. We in 2.0 now. Yep, the fourth beast, yep. Um, the fourth beast is Rome. And then this is the last part of that fourth beast. Or like on the statue, the feet of the statue, which is America, which is Rome 2.0. Or oh, as, as Revelation puts it, the daily the the beast that received the daily wound coming back. All right, that beast in Revelation is talking about this current system, which is America being a whore. All right, which is the face of the the whole the Edomite nation, Edom being the so called white people who I really read. All right, and ruling with the beast. Just like Rome ruled with the beast. How did Rome rule? Rome was his little ass place in, in uh, uh, Italy. But it ruled with what? The rest of his allies. The same today. The EU. All right? And NATO. And yes, there are other countries part of NATO, but who runs NATO? The same European countries. Okay? You got Greece. You got, of course, the UK, Germany, etc. Okay? That's, that's the same system how Rome ruled. That's the beast system. The same devil, that old serpent, which is Edom, Malachi 1 and 4. He is that wicked one. That's the mystery in 2 Thessalonians, the second chapter. Edom is that beast. He is that wicked one. He is the, the one that come after the works of Satan. He is that old serpent. That dragon, Malachi 1 and 3, his heritage is waste for the dragons. He is that dragon, Job 30, 29. Edom is that dragon. So what does this place do? Because this is Satan who's running this place, right? Daniel 7, 25. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. So his whole way of life is contrary to what the Most High has set up. He teaches evolution. He teaches, and then we do teach about a God. He teaches contrary to what the power really says. All right, i.e. plantation Christianity, Scientology, more Mormons, okay? Even gives you Luciferianism, man. All right, and shall wear out, of course, atheism, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High. Who are the saints? The Israelites. Psalms 50 and 5, you know, or the Psalms 50 and 6. Them that made a covenant, that's the saints. Who did that? The Israelites. Um... And think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand until the time and times of dividing the time. It's not our rest. We've been given into the hands of the wicked. All right, because we sin. Jeremiah 5, 19. Jeremiah 17, 4. We, we are in the land of our captivity. All right? And this is not our rest. This is our punishment. And these devils have put a way of life up, which is really a way of death. Contrary to the Lord. Whoever follows this devil, you're going to die with this devil. That YOLO mindset, that do as thou wilt mindset, live it up while you're young, forever young spirit, all right? There's a price to pay for that, man, and that price is great death because the Lord is coming with judgment, man. The Lord is coming with fire. This is Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire, 
and with his chariots like a whirlwind. So the Lord is going to arrive in style, man, to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. I'm going to read the next verse, too. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the guards behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh, they love promoting that shit here. I mean, they put bacon in everything. Just, like, just another example to show that this place is completely contrary to the Lord. They put bacon in a fucking milkshake. That's, that's fucking crazy, man. They praise the ham. You know, look. And not only that, all and the abomination that goes to your lobster, your crabs. All right. The decisions you make today will affect you tomorrow. And the mouth shall be consumed together, said the Lord. So everybody that's partaking in this world, this, this, this world right now, man, you fall in this world, you're going to die with this world, man. And let me get this in the New Testament so you understand. Well, that's the Old Testament. JC came and changed that. Well, let's see what, what Yahweh Shai, that's his real name. And the letter J is in existence, 1634. How can, and also, how can a Hebrew man... Have an English name, let alone he got the the letter, the newest letter ever created in his name. Come on, man. That's Matthew's 10. Matthew 10, 34. And 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. All right? But a sword. And that, that's what's coming, judgment. Hereby knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. And also, it's not the Israelite way to raise Children, the way modern society teach you, they got the saying, all oh, that's kids being kids. Let them be kids. No. Now, look, of course, a child is not held to the same standard and accountability as an adult. But they must be taught and shown what's proper and what's right from their youth. And they must be taught to abide by that from their youth. Otherwise, they will grow up to be a foolish adult. A foolish child grows to be a foolish adult. Unless taught otherwise, man. All right. This place is so back. Uh, let me give you an example. A baby, a baby is learning and observing from the womb. All right. That's why they put things in their mouth because they have their senses. Touch, taste, see, smell. You know, all right. So they're figuring things out. Okay. Now you, a grown as adult, will lean toward this baby and hit him with a goo goo gaga. That, what the fuck? The baby ain't saying Google Gaga because it wants to. It's because it can't express itself yet. That's why baby cries when it wants milk. That's why baby cries when it's wet because it can't express itself yet. So you speak to you speak around and with that baby in a, a normal way so they can learn words, so they can learn and get their communi communicative skills better. Are right, you start that even from then? But America teach you baby talk. They ain't teach you let kids just have fun. They don't they don't train them up. When really you should be getting them into linguistics early on. So like a, a child uh, a child learns a new language faster than an adult. Okay, you can get your you can get a baby bilingual while they a toddler. They can they because it's easier for they observe they observing and absorbing everything at that point. Okay? So they can get what's right and what's wrong starting from then. Now, if they grow up to be wicked, that's another case. But it's our job to, to get to put them in the right spirit, man. We Israelites, man. Um this is Proverbs 22. And 15, foolishness is bound in the heart of a child, but the rod of correction shall drive it far from him. So from the youth, you should be teaching a child right and wrong. A child don't know any better. So a child naturally just goes and do what, what they want. Oh, this looks fun. Let's do this. Let's do that. And it's our job as the adult to know that's not right. Here's the correction, you know, to teach them what's right. You know, plain and simple. What the uh, we had a king of Israel that was what eight years old, right? When I'm mistaken, it was seven or eight. I believe it was eight. Forgive me. But when you read through it, he had tutors, 
He was amongst the priests. He had to go hide away. But as Israelite culture, man, we had tutors from our youth that showed us right and wrong. We were taught these things, man. All right? We were, we were getting into to writing or whatever skill to trade or whatever from our youth, man. Esau does that to this day. It was a video that was going viral. A couple of them. It was trending. This thing was trending a few months ago, right? Maybe six months ago. However long ago it was. And it was infants getting into a pool. And you see all these young, dumb, this generation is so fucking simple. They're all, oh, what? That's child abuse. They, especially, the, you know, Jake, the niggas, man. They don't know anything. They, How's this baby in a pool like that? That's not right. Because the adults, of course, are around. But they're not touching the baby. They're not grabbing the baby. And it's like, nah, you know, the baby just spent this a whole nine, ten months in, a, in water. It knows to hold its breath in the water. So a baby can learn how to swim, er, you know, early on. Esau, when he didn't do that, I, we're restricted. We're not taught that. And that's just a small example of, of, of a grand thing. They, they teach them, they get them piano lessons early. They get them in tennis early. They read with them early. They get them into different languages early. We're taught to fucking let a child be a child. That's madness. This is Proverbs. Uh, 22 and 6. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. So that whole live it up by your young shit is madness, man. Uh, yeah, let me get that Ecclesiastes, because I, I need to read that and get, break it down properly, because she skipped the whole middle of the verse, and then said, see, it don't matter what you do. You're gonna, people going to judge you. It don't say nothing about people judging you here. It's another thing. Our people don't even know how to read. When you sit down with a child, three, oh man, two years old, three years old, four years old, and actually go over words with them and read with them, that helps a whole, it helps a whole lot with reading comprehension by the time they get, uh, uh, become, become six years old, they're in fifth grade or five when they're in kindergarten. That shit starts at two. I have conversations with my mother now. And I mentioned stuff from when I was super young. She like, how the fuck do you remember that? But she would do certain shit with me. She, I remember her buying a whole list of, I mean, of course, Disney is wicked, but a whole list of Disney books. And she got me into that. She would read with me. She would get me to read. And so I can learn these things, man. She would get me into, uh, uh, you know, uh, of course, she would let me play regular video games. But she would get me into, like, uh, what was the name of that game? Jumpstart. You know? Playing the Jumpstart game. And she would get me the one that was for above my age, when I'm mistaken. You know? So I'm a child knowing a certain little shit, you know, little tidbits about Picasso or fractions and shit like that. Because I was showing that early on. It really helps with the learning curve. Now, some people, we, we know... It makes it takes more time, but if you're getting them into it early, and it's just as a natural way. Because ultimately, what's important is this word and this truth being taught what's right and wrong, you know. But if you're showing it to them early, it's, it helps if there's a a problem in the future, because at least they had a base foundation. They have a stepping point, man. Not some oh, I'm young, do what the fuck I want to do. I'll worry about right and wrong later. I'll worry, but no, man. No, this is Ecclesiastes 11. Salak, let me hit this T real quick. Please, on the Elder Malcolm movement. <laughs> Ecclesiastes 11 and 9. Rejoice, O young man in thy youth. And let thy heart cheer thee in the days of thy youth. And walk in the ways of thy heart and in the sight of thy eyes. Do as thou wilt, right? But no. Thou, therefore, all these things, the Most High will bring thee into judgment. There, so, whatever you do, look, you go ahead and enjoy yourself. Do what the fuck you want to do. But no judgment is coming. Right? Therefore, so we're knowing that. 
Remove sorrow from thy heart and put away evil from thy flesh for childhood and youth are vanity. So fuck it, man. Fuck this youthful shit. Look, we know what it is. We, we looking forward to the coming of Yahweh by Shemiah Shine, hopefully getting mercy when he comes, which means we don't have the, the, the opportunity. I don't even want to say opportunity to... Uh, I, I don't. I can't think of a better word. Let's see. It's definitely not a luxury, because the luck, the true luxury, has been able to do this work and the serve you. How about some y'all shy? We don't have the time. Okay. It's not a wise thing to go and just do as you want and just be youthful and live it up. You're not. This is the best thing to do. Is right here. Do this work. All right. Put evil away from you. And we're not to live according to the flesh. Fuck all that. Let's do this work, man. Especially, man, look. In this world, we all went through being wicked, man. We all we all fallen short of the glory. So when we hear this word, the best thing to do is this. 1 Peter 4 and 1. For as much then as Mashiach had suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. So our mindset is we ready to suffer. That was what that Ecclesiastes 11 and 10 said, take sorrow away from you. You know, we ain't we can't be down about it. Look, this is we we rejoice in this, man, because we know what's coming. We got hope. For he that hath suffered in the flesh hath ceased from sin. Put evil away from you. You can't just go after your fleshly desires, man. The flesh is wicked. No good thing dwelleth in the flesh. That he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh of the lust of men. We ain't set up to live uh, uh, according to our flesh and just do what the hell we want to do. You see how weird this place is? Look at what's going on with people that's living carnally right now. At some point, they all turn to what? Whoredoms and sodomy. And this world continue on. The whole world, they, This place be polluted to where everybody just a goddamn sodomite, man. Shit is weird, man. All right, that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men, but to the will of the Most High. For the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles. When we walked in lasciviousness, unbridled, you know, unbridled lust, lust, excess of wine, revelings, banquetings, and abominable idolatries. Whatever we, we already did, let that be enough, man. We ain't missing out on nothing. All right, that, that's something, you know, we do the Spirit. You know, we tell the younger brothers, you're not missing out on anything in this world. All right? You, what, you're going to get drunk every day, party? All right? All that shit, that's not true happiness. That's a temporary moment where your flesh is appeased, but you still inhale. Right here, we have hope. Right here, we have true happiness. Because happy, you see, whose, whose power is your how about Shami, how about Shai? We have a shot at immortality. We have a shot at being in the inner circle with the Lord. To be able to sit at his table, drink wine with, with Yahweh Shai. To be rulers. To be the head of our nation when our rest comes. When the earth will be re refreshed again, man. Now that's happiness. And we get a taste of that now, you know. We get a little taste of that now, man. Well, Rand, they think it's strange that you run out with them to the same excess of riot, speaking evil of you. Who shall give account to him that is ready to judge the quick and the dead? All right, and our Lord is coming to judge this place. So this, we end on this, 2 Peter 3 and 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, and the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The first death was flood. This time it's with fire, man. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? So that's the spirit to be in, man. Fuck childhood and youth. That shit is vain. All right? Fuck being sad, your friend. It's like just, you know, another current example. You got you in high school or whatever, right? And you see these kids, you know, maybe some people you cool with in school, they get to go out all the time and party and do whatever, but you got some parents that actually care about you, you know? 
So they keep you in the house. They know you got to study. This is school now. You got to make sure you do this. Get that homework done. Make sure you do this and your test grades come back good. And you sitting there all sorrowful. Your friends are going out. Meanwhile, fast forward 10 years from then, they as some damn failures, carnally speaking, of course, you're not on a natural level. This is a natural example to, to express something spiritual. They fucking failures, but you have, but you have now you you've you've so called succeeded in what they call the American life. Now you can go and you got everything because you had that discipline. All right, same thing here, man. And and you young, don't worry about what the world is doing. Fuck all that. Don't be sorrowful about it because you can't go do this and that. Fuck all that, man. You ain't missing out. This, this, this job right here pays off, man. Looking for and hasting until the coming of the day wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for a new heavens and a new earth. And that means refreshed, wherein dwelleth righteousness. And that's what we're looking forward to, man. That's, that's true happiness. We're going to get to have fun and enjoy the earth where righteousness is at. Not where you go out here and whatever you do, it because it's a balance. So you don't be in this Bible 24-7. Now, we meditate upon it day and night. But you don't sit there and read 24-7. You still may, you know, sometimes kick back, have a drink, you know, hit, you know, hit the sauce. You chill with your woman or some, you know, because we in fucking hell, some random woman you end up hooking up with. All that shit is defiled. Nine times out of ten, the woman you got is not a virgin. All right? That, that's terrible. We Israelites, man. We are royalty. We're supposed to have virgins. All right? Uh, whatever you watch or TV, whatever your pastime is, they they got they got a Esau got an agenda. So they showing you wickedness because they have an agenda. They push you're gonna see sodomy everywhere, whoredoms everywhere, some bullshit, some just some shit that's out of that's contrary to the scriptures. All right, you go to a lounge or a bar, it's adultery all up in there. It's a blessing if you find a woman that ain't lying when she says she's single. And even then, you, you piper, and it's still, like, <laughs> defiled. And this day and age, just dudes getting surgery that look like women. So you looking, you don't even, like, you got to ask, were you born a woman? <laughs> All type of weird shit is just defiled here, man. If that's what you like, hey, that hey, <laughs> shit, that's on you. So verse 14, I end on this. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that you look for such things, be diligent that you be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. So that's our focus, man. So with that, hopefully it's edifying all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh, Shah, Bahasham, Kakadash. Double honor to the apostle of the great millstone. And the Southeast Brothers doing this thing in sincere, the truth, and with charity, Shalom, Baba, Baba, Baba.